this is just sector by sector. I thought it might be interesting to look at what we went through. This is the Washington metropolitan area, and it's monthly over the year. So construction jobs started declining back in, in late 07, and, and we've sort of almost come out of the woods. That is a slew of jobs, and these are only the full-time regular jobs, so part-time jobs and self-employment aren't in here. This is retail. Strong rebound. Somebody, somebody's spending money again. Uh, but, but a lot of losses there. State and local government uh, finally went, I don't know how it went positive, and uh, this, is through, this is through September of this year. Yeah, I think it's September. I think we, have, we have October national data, but I think it's still September. I'll, I'll have to check. Uh, but it, it's more than a year of losses, and, and uh, it's taken its toll on, on the economy. The information jobs, this is just, this, these aren't coming back. This is the Washington Post. This is Channel 7. This is, this is uh, uh, there's probably some AOL in there. But it's basically media. And if you go to almost any uh, form, electronic or print media, there's a whole lot, lot fewer people there. The newsrooms are empty. They're buying their news from, from Bloomberg or for some, some uh, outside organization. Same way with, uh, and, and, and if you can see, excuse me, let me go back here. It goes all the way back, at, oh, if, if I showed you this back to 01, this goes all the way back to 01. Uh, this is a little more recent, but it started at the beginning of 07. We're not going to get those jobs back. Those are consolidations. Manufacturing goes back to 99. We don't have that many manufacturing jobs, but we continue to lose two or 3,000 a year. Um, and I don't think we'll, we're not getting those back. So the economy is going to be very different. Professional business services, this is our biggest sector. So a lot of us, or you are in, uh, this is where the H our industry would be, and the lawyers and accountants, and um, a lot of the federal contractors are in here. Uh, the, uh, this, this is, these are, tend to be higher value added jobs. We lost a bunch of them, but uh, we lost about 12,000 during the recession. It was small compared to construction, but these were uh, high value jobs, and we're getting them back in much bigger numbers now. We, we, we haven't lost these kinds of jobs in any large number before, so it's a new experience. There's health and education. Um, a few weak months, but pretty, pretty solid. And, and federal. It's interesting now the federal government started adding jobs just about the time that, that all the banks started failing. So if you break this apart by agency, you get some FDIC, you get Treasury, you get Justice. Uh, there's, there's some hiring in here that, that uh, in DOD, but it's not, this isn't the war on terrorism. That happened a long time before. Uh, there's, this is mainly domestic agencies, and we're up about 16,000 jobs for the year. These aren't such big jobs. I mean, they're not, the numbers, it looks good. They came at the right time, and they started in the, the uh, last year of the the Bush administration, sort of when the federal government was needed to do stuff. They, they actually put on more people. Um, we're up to about 100 and, or 380,000 federal workers now in the Washington area. We, we peaked at, at uh, 393,600 in, uh, in the middle of June of 93. And, uh, we had 345,000 in the middle of 70. So, it, we, you know, this doesn't vary too much. They just happen to be uh, counter-cyclical. This is what we did in September. Ah, it was September. <clears throat> the local data lagged the national data by a couple of weeks, and I, I sometimes forget where, which month we're in. This, we haven't had a year, we haven't had, if, if this, this is a 12-month, data point. So this is September of this year compared to September of last year. If that was the whole, if that was average for all of the year, we haven't had a year like this. Well, we, we might have had one this decade. I'll, I'll, I'll have to go look. But that's, 
that's a big number. The norms are about 45,000 net new jobs. Just This is for all of the metro area, five counties in Maryland. Oh, there's so many jurisdictions. We count the independent cities, but say 11 counties in Northern Virginia in the district. And these are this is an order of size, New York being the biggest market. We're the fourth biggest market, and Seattle's the 15th biggest in this case. In April, we were the only one up. In May, we were the only one up. Boston came in, and Houston, and a couple during the summer, and now we've gotten uh, little tiny numbers. Houston is the, or Dallas, excuse me, is the next best, and they're just a little more than half of our size in terms of growth. We're almost the same population. Actually, Dallas has, Dallas Fort Worth has more people than we do, and we have more jobs. We have more commuters than they do. We're just squashed, more con uh, confined by Baltimore. Chicago, how do you, I mean, that, that is, that is big losses. They're, they're, they're just 70,000 jobs at a time when the economy is recovering. Los Angeles has lost jobs every single month now for 35 consecutive months. It's really a different economy. Hard to sell houses in places like that. So 